What's up, y'all? It's Debbie, and I'm back with a video that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. It's really a passion of mine, and that's helping y'all become better defensive players. I see a lot of tips on YouTube that are just garbage. Send five people, get one free 30% of the time, or send six, get one free against five wide. And to me personally, that stuff that's not going to help you become a better defensive player. You know, just because you have a blitz that might work from time to time or, you know, if they don't block anybody, somebody will come free all the way around the edge. That's not going to get you better. What's going to get you better is understanding how to play defense, understanding what the offensive player wants to do, and trying your best to take that away. What I'm going to do in this series is break down what I think defensively against every formation and every game situation Help y'all get a better mind of what makes me an effective defensive player. I've always been a decent defensive player, and I've never really relied on a blitz that was unblockable or unslidable or can't ID the mic. I've never relied on anything like that. I've always used, you know, my smarts and anticipation and, you know, reaction to become, you know, a great defensive player. So what I'm going to do in this series is go ahead and break down what you need to be looking for versus every formation. And the first one I'm going to go ahead and start with is split close. Split close has been good in Madden and has been a real basic offense for a couple years now. You'll see anybody try to run it, you know, from the Bazooka Joes of the world to even the elite players will mix it into their scheme because it is effective, it is compressed, and it does have a good run package. So, I mean, it's an offense that a lot of people use. And obviously, when, when people come out of the huddle in the split close, defensively, you see here, I'm just, any play... I'm not going to necessarily show y'all a play or show y'all, you know, do this, do this exactly or lock up everything. But what I want to show you guys is what exactly I want to do and what the offensive player wants to do. So when I see split close, if someone comes out in this, say it's the first play of the game. All the time when someone runs split close, what they want to do is hit this post route to X. That's what they want to do. They want to hit X on a post route for a big play. X has always been the player you have to watch. You know, obviously there's flat routes to both sides. There's a corner route. There could be little short drag routes and routes. But X is the person that's going to, one, get 10-plus yards, or two, make a touchdown out of nowhere if you don't pay attention to X. And you have to think as an offensive player, he wants to do that. He wants a big play. It takes an elite, elite, elite man player to be satisfied getting three or four, you know, five yards of play. Most kids that pick up Madden, they want the touchdown. They want to hit the two routes that are 10 yards plus. As a defensive player, I've always had a rule, do not give up a 10-yard play. Anything under 10 yards you can live with because, one, it's not going to kill you. Two, you can hit them, fumble. Three, they can throw incompletion. They can back up. You know, they can have a negative play. But if you allow your opponent to get 10-plus yards, that's not good, and it's going to make their life real easy. And they can score in five, six plays and not necessarily give you an opportunity for a fumble, a sack, a fluky block shed, a fluky tip pick. And that's what you want as a defender. The more you make someone work, the more likely you are to make mistakes. And by giving up the big plays, you will not make them work. So essentially, that's what I do. So we'll see. I'm in just a cover three right here. So ideally, what I want to do is take away X. That's what I want to do. If I come out of the huddle, I want to take away X. Uh, I can move my safety down here to try to take away the post and help out. I can always do something like this, cross man X over there. But more often than not, if I'm in a cover three or a cover two, I'm going to tend to lurk from the middle. You're going to have one guy coming over here short. Most people slant. They'll do a little slant over the middle. And I'll probably lurk, you know, from B to X. That's ideally what I want to do. I want to stop this X route. And obviously, I want to stop the corner route. I rarely ever, on this right side against split close, rarely ever go just hard flat. If I put a hard flat on the right, it's normally accompanied with a curl flat or something to stop the corner route. Because other than a deep post with the other play that's going to hurt you, in this main play, which is halfback wheel, is the deep corner route. So ideally, you want to make sure you account for the post, either with your user moving the safety down or manning up the post, and also accounting for the corner route, you know, with a cloud flat or a purple zone or something like that. A lot of people do like to throw the short running back route. If they start killing you with that, I'll man him up or something like that. So that's the main play you have to worry about in split close. Obviously, there's other plays along with it. We'll take a look at a couple other plays that people like to run in, in split close. So we'll go run cover two this time. 
obviously halfback will is probably the main play that you know most regular players are going to run but this is the other one it was good last year and once again it's good this year and that's that's pa slide it's good because it attacks both flats you have it out most people will streak x like this once again x is always a guy that's going to get a big play but when they run slide what they're looking for is the a post route once again a post route over the middle of the field because that if you look at this play art like this a is the only route on the field that's once again is going to get you over 10 yards and giving up 10 yard plays are not what we want to do so between these two plays you got to worry about if they run the pa slide you got to worry about a so once again we can go ahead and bring these safeties down a little bit to try to stop the post or you can man up a but most of the time with this i'll go ahead and just lurk the a route if i see pa slide so between halfback wheel post and the pa slide post those are the two plays that are going to kill you in this formation if you can limit those plays limit those two big play opportunities you're going to make your opponent check down a lot throw to the running backs and that's going to give you an opportunity to get a turnover or most of the time they're going to make a mistake they're going to force these big plays because that's what they want to do you know by taking away the big play you're going to make most of these kids make mistakes because they're not used to consistently hitting drags hitting flats and taking what the defense gives them you know you have to make your opponent make a mistake and that's the best way to do it this is how most of the time what i think about when i defend split close Tell me what you guys think if this is a series y'all want me to continue on different formations and, you know, what I do defensively to slow them down. I've never been a person that's been, you know, you're never getting a first down on me, but my goal is to slow people down, essentially bend but don't break. You know, and by taking away the big plays, you will not break. So I'm going to show you, you know, multiple formations that people use a lot early in Man 18, like bunch tight end, any type of trips tight end with three wide receivers to the left. Ace, twins, deuce, close, whatever you guys are having trouble defending, I'll give you an idea of what I do defensively against them and what my main goal is against these formations. So hit the like button. Please, if I get 100 likes, I'll go ahead and do another formation what I do defensively versus it. And hit the sub. Make sure I'm almost over 2,000 subs. It'll mean the world to me to get over that. I appreciate it. Y'all go ahead. Let me know what formations y'all want help defending, and I'll tell you what goes through my mind. All right, y'all. Need it.